Recently, I had opportunity to play with Geiger counter. So I tested uh, all kinds of radioactive watches. So I tested uh, watches with radium loom, I tested watches with tritium loom, I tested Seiko that uh, uses their own like promethium loom. Uh, so yeah, so I want to show you uh, actually the, <laughs> the, the, the testing <laughs> and what the Geiger counter uh, showed. So uh, keep watching, it should be, should be a very interesting video. So in the beginning we are just testing nothing because uh, it doesn't matter if you uh, don't have any radioactive objects, there is still radiation where you are. So there is this background radiation. So we are starting uh, with, uh, with this. Uh, so background radiation is about 0.1. Uh, okay, so now let's actually put some watch. Uh, let's test the watch. And let's start with the watch that theoretically should be the least radioactive. So this is Seiko's Loom uh, on uh, uh, RAF Gen, Gen 1, and they use Prometheum. There is actually P on the dial. So we see that it a little bit moved, but... Um, it's, it's not that far from the background radiation. Um, maybe a little bit less than double of the background radiation. So, so it noticed something, right? But uh, we can say that this is like moved a lot. <laughs> right? Now let's put a different watch. So we're gonna put uh, a Rolex Explorer uh, 1016, but this one has tritium loom. So dial is actually marked T less than 25. I don't know what 25 is. <laughs> Theoretically, this one should be a little bit more radioactive than Prometheum, uh, but our uh, device doesn't show that. So let's actually hear uh, what uh, the, the sound that Geiger counter makes. Okay, now let's put a uh, Certina DS that has plenty of radioactive loom uh, and let's start with the sound. Despite all the loud noises at the restaurant that I'm in, you can still hear that Geiger counter is going crazy. And you, you can see that the number is going up and up and up. This is definitely not a background radiation or anything close to background radiation. Uh, now, I wouldn't... Uh, pay too much attention about the specific number that you are seeing because uh, consumer uh, Geiger counters, they just measure one spectrum, but we can see that, uh, yeah, like this watch is definitely highly radioactive comparing to what we measured with Prometheum or uh, Tritium that was barely close to background radiation. So radiation in watches is very, very important health topic. Uh, and I encourage you to watch uh, Horological Society, the lecture uh, on, on the topic that uh, was uh, recorded at Horological Society. Uh, so at the end of this video, you can see the link. It, it's a long one hour lecture, but uh, I highly encourage you to, uh, if you own radioactive vintage watches, I highly encourage you to watch all of this lecture uh, and if you like vintage watches uh, check out my channel there is a like link with my face right here and yeah uh, consider subscribing um, yeah thank you for watching bye